Hey guys, what's going on? A little bit of a different video for you. I'm not 100% sure where this kind of fits into the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. I guess it's kind of halfway between a, a, a raw review, a, a preview and a vlog, so to speak. So all new supplement hit the market a couple of weeks ago from our good friends at ATP Science. A quite unique supplement. It's called Gut Right. This is the product right here. It's a gut health supplement. So it's actually, ATP have actually called it a, a mod biotic formulation. Uh, and they've written on here, I'm just gonna read this out for you because it kind of gives you guys a bit of context to this supplement. So uh, Gut Right has the answer, mod biotics. Mod biotics are a group of natural polyphenols that control the growth of microbe populations by killing the bad stuff and helping the good stuff in your gut thrive. So the kind of basis behind this supplement, the kind of uh, uh, reason for this supplement from ATP is really kind of like a gut health supplement. So it's designed to improve the health of your, of your gut, the health of your gastrointestinal tract to help with digestion and help your body actually be able to absorb the, the food and the nutrients and the rest of the supplements that you're putting into your, into your body. And then obviously all the benefits that flow along from that increased absorption. So that's the kind of basis behind it. There's it, been a lot, a lot of talk about this gut right, primarily because it's really the first supplement of its kind that we've seen that really focuses on, on gut health. It's kind of uh, breaching that gap between uh, sports performance supplementation and, and naturopathy, really. Um, it kind of sits somewhere in between that. So there's been a lot of talk about it because it is new and it is unique, but there hasn't been anyone that's done any kind of video content like this that's based on their personal use, personal experience with this particular product. So you guys know that normally I would do something like a preview on if it was a pre-workout supplement or a raw review. I can't do a raw review on this ATP Science Gut Right because the blend is a proprietary blend. So there's a lot of different ingredients in there in a blend where we don't know how much of each ingredient is in there, which kind of rules me out of doing a raw review because I can't talk to you guys about clinical dosages and, and whether things are properly dosed to, to be able to mimic what studies have shown. So that kind of rules out a raw review, but I still wanted to do a piece of content on this gut right because no one else has done it. And I think that, uh, that it's important for you guys to kind of get a firsthand experience on this particular product particularly important because of the dosing protocol. So I'm gonna read this off the label for you guys once again. Uh, there's two parts to how you take this gut right. There's a kickstart program and then there's a maintenance program. So the kickstart program is take five grams, one flat scoop of gut right, mixed into a beverage of your choice three times daily with meals for 10 days. And then after that 10 days, it's one, one five gram scoop uh, in beverage of your choice once per day. So this kickstart program is kind of where a lot of the talk has been has been coming around in the industry because it's once again it's unique, you know, to be able to I guess kind of uh, super dose a supplement for a given specific period of time when you first start taking it and then kind of go into maintenance phase after that. So I wanted to shoot this video and effectively do this kickstart program and report to you report you guys to you guys on my personal experience during the kickstart program so i'm going to start today i'm going to start this morning with my breakfast meal so i've just had my first meal of the day i'm going to take my first ever scoop of this gut right i'm going to take it three times a day for these first 10 days and i'm going to report back to you guys during this video you're not going to see every single time i take it that's going to be boring as shit. but i'm going to report back to you guys at least daily and tell you kind of the effects that the gut right is, is having on me and how I'm kind of feeling using it. So let's get straight into it. Day one, dose one, let's go. First things first, let's weigh out this scoop of gut right and see how close it is to the five grams that it's supposed to be. So all new tub of gut right, I'll take the scoop out of here, I'll tear that on my scales. One level scoop. Not bad. We're down a little bit, just under five grams. So I'm going to go, and that's that's pretty much almost exactly one level scoop. So I'm going to go try like a heap scoop. And that's a little bit over. It's close enough. Let's go. Let's take this scoop, throw it down here. Let's see how this mixes. It 
that's not too bad. Seems to have mixed pretty well. Let's see what this tastes like. Actually, I am gonna, I'm just gonna let it sit for, well, it has sat for a little bit. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit longer. I'm gonna mix it up again because there is, I'm not really too sure if you guys can, if you can see that. Let me get some, let me get some bird's eye view action. But it is kinda sitting on the top there. It hasn't mixed particularly well. Let me just, let's see if we can get this to dissolve a little better. Yeah, that looks like that'll do. So there you go. Let it, mix it, let it set, let it settle a little bit, let it sit and then mix it again. And it, it, it's actually mixed pretty well. That's not too bad. All right, see how this tastes, man. Oh boy. Ooh. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking this three times a day for the next 10 days is not going to be enjoyable. I think I've, I've probably used a little bit too much water. Um, definitely I've used too much water if I have to drink a whole glass of that, but. <sighs> Thank goodness that's over. Definitely gonna use about Mm, a quarter of the amount of water that I used just then because that uh, that is not a good tasting supplement at all. Oh boy. Well, there you go. First serve of gut right is down. Let's see what happens. Day two of gut right. So I had my first three serves, three one scoop serves throughout the day yesterday. Yesterday was an interesting day <laughs> on this gut right. Interesting for two reasons. The first reason was because Man, my, my stomach was doing backflips uh, pretty much oh, 15 minutes after I took my first serve, then through the entire day uh, to the point where, you know, I was trying to get to sleep last night and my stomach was like, it wasn't like a stomach ache, you know, it wasn't that, that, that stomach ache feeling, it was just my stomach was just like literally doing backflips. Um, something I've never experienced like that for such a pro, it was like, it was like 15 minutes after my first dose in the morning, right up until I remember falling asleep last night. It was, uh, it was intense. So I don't know if that, if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's definitely a thing. Secondly, um, I have not figured out a way to get this gut right to taste good. Uh, I tried, you know, the, you guys saw the first serve, way too much water. I tried a little bit less water. I tried mixing it in something other than water. Uh, and it's just, it's, it's not good. <laughs> so I've kind of settled on this. Um, I literally, I, I take a scoop and, uh, and, and, and I, I neck it, I throw it down and then chase it with water. So check this out, count it down with me. Three, two, one. <laughs> it actually makes my eyes water, but I feel like that's the best way to do it because it's over quick. Um, you're not sipping on a full glass, it's just in, smash it, deal with it, <laughs> wipe the water out of your eyes and then move on. Uh, the, the, one, the other thing as well is I suggest taking it, you're supposed to take it with meals. I suggest taking it just before a meal because if you take it after a meal, the the taste like lingers, it gets like stuck in your gums and the roof of your mouth and it lingers. So just having something to kind of like overcome that lingering taste uh, is, is definitely beneficial. I found that helped a lot yesterday. That's my first serve of day two. I'll keep you guys up to date. All right guys, so it's 10 p.m. here on day two. I've had my second serve of gut right. I had it with my pre-workout meal. I haven't had my third serve yet. So I'm five serves deep over the first two days. And I wanted to check in with you guys before I have my, my third and final serve here on day two. Uh, because today I've really been struggling with stomach pain. Uh, I mentioned to you guys yesterday, it was like my stomach was doing backflips all day. 
but it wasn't like painful, it wasn't like a stomach ache. Today, definitely much more towards a stomach ache. Not like a bad stomach ache, but like a mild stomach ache that started probably 15 minutes after I took my first serve of gut right this morning and it has not stopped all day. Um, and it almost, I feel like I've got a, a really bloated feeling as well. Like my stomach is really kind of like hard and bloated and it feels like I've had like a massive cheat meal um, and I'm, I'm like, bloated from, from a massive cheat meal. That's kind of the feels that I've got. Uh, so not really enjoying the experience at this point in time, uh, but I'm gonna push on. I'm gonna persevere for you guys uh, because I wanna, I wanna document this and, and tell you exactly what I'm experiencing as the days go on. Uh, but, uh, and what, and, and sorry, what was that, Asha? What I'm experiencing. What you're experiencing. <laughs> Please explain. In this apartment. Yeah. Oh my God, what, horrible. What? You need to tell the viewers. Don't do it, girls. Don't let them do it. Don't let your husbands do it. Take the product off of them. I'll let you guys, <laughs> I'll let you guys read into that what you may. But let's just say, I felt like I've had a stomach ache all day. I feel like I've been bloated all day and Ash has had to deal with the repercussions all day. <laughs> so I'm not looking forward to this third scoop that I gotta have with my, uh, with my post-workout meal, but I'm gonna do it nonetheless and uh, I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Day three of this 10 day gut right loading phase vlog. I'm just about to down my third serve of gut right for day three, so my ninth total serve. Couple of good things to report for you guys at the end of this day three. Firstly, I'm starting to get used to the taste of gut right. Uh, still not game enough to go and mix it in water. I've still, every serve that I've had the last couple of days, I've just taken the scoop, thrown it straight in my mouth and chased it with water. So taking it straight to the head. Um, and I found that is definitely the best way to take it. And I'm starting to get used to the taste a little bit. Second piece of good news is today, so far as stomach action is concerned, like really good, really, really good. Much, much better than, than day one phenomenally better than day two and I was really nervous about today uh, because I thought it was going to get worse once again uh, you know even worse than, than, than yesterday and, and yesterday was was not good from a from a gut uh, perspective but today um, has been really good really good no uh, no gastrointestinal upset no stomach turning and tossing no stomach ache or anything like that it's really just felt like a like a completely normal day uh, so I'm excited to see what happens tomorrow I'm gonna down my third and final serve for this day three of gut right and I will catch you guys on the flip side and just like that here we are at the end of day number five I actually skipped all of yesterday on gut right because there really wasn't anything to report to you guys, good or bad, it was kind of very similar to, to day three. And now day five, I'm about to take my third and final serve for day five. So I'm up to 15, I'm, half, I'm, I'm almost halfway through. This will actually, after this serve, it will be halfway through, five days in, 15 serves in. Uh, so I thought it'd be a good time to, to jump back on this uh, this gut right loading phase vlog and tell you guys what's up. So really, really good. At this point in time, uh, my stomach feels amazing. Uh, no bad negative side effects of any sort at all. Uh, I've even gotten used to the taste. Still, still not willing to mix it in water. Still, just been, just been popping it in my mouth, taking it to the head, and washing it down. But it's not bad. I'm definitely getting much more used to it. It's much more palatable now. Uh, and overall, really, really good. I'm just feeling really good at this point. So I'm interested to see what happens over the, the second half of this, uh, this loading phase, the, the second five days, because at this point, in first first five days in, 15 serves in, it feels pretty damn good. So I'm gonna smash down my third and final for today, my 15th in total, and finish off this day five, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Start of day eight of this 10 day gut right challenge. I skipped the last two days, day six and day seven, in terms of showing you guys the content because to be honest, not a whole lot has changed. It's been really nothing to report. There's been no negative uh, effects, no negative uh, gastrointestinal experiences that I've had. There's been nothing really out of the ordinary in terms of positive either. I've kind of just gone back to really kind of where I was before I started the, the, the gut right. So day six, day seven, 
pretty much kind of flat line for lack of a better term. Start of day eight now, so this is going to be my 22nd serve of this ATP Science Gut Right. So let's go ahead. Let's get it straight in. Still not tasting any better. <laughs> Still definitely haven't got used to the taste and that's how I've been taking it the whole time, guys. Just throwing it down, necking it down, chasing it with water. 20 day, serve 22, I've got 23, 24 today. Then I've got two days left. And really, unless anything else changes, I'm probably gonna check in with you guys on the start of day 11. So after I've completely finished the, 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 the entire first tub, um, and I don't have a whole lot left in there. Um, when I've completely finished this entire tub to tell you how the entire 10 day challenge went and give you a little bit of a summary, I will catch you guys then. Here we are at the end of the 10 day ATP Science Gut Right Challenge. As a matter of fact, we're a little bit further on than the end of the 10 days, guys. I am now almost through my second tub of gut right. So I've got uh, probably about a week left on my second tub of duck gut right. So I went through the 10 day challenge, dosing it three times a day, every day, and that cleared out my first tub straight away. And then I've been uh, taking the dosage back down, as ATP suggests, down to one serve per day. I've been taking it first thing in the morning, one serve per day, and I've almost finished my, my second tub of gut right. So I wanted to, to get back in here at the filming studio at, uh, at MJHQ and talk you guys through my entire experience uh, and, and even touch on you know what I've experienced after the 10 day loading phase. So the three weeks after the 10 day loading phase through my second tub of gut right. And also talk collectively because there's been a bunch of us here at, at, uh, at Massive Joe's who have been using gut right, who have also done the 10 day challenge and been using it since. And so we've been discussing it and I wanted to really add as much value to you guys as possible and talk collectively about the discussions we've been having here and our personal experiences with it. So first and foremost, really apart from the first couple of days of the loading phase, the, the gut right challenge, I didn't really notice much, you know, from day four onwards, to be honest with you guys, right up until now. So from day four, right up until, you know, four weeks after I started taking, I, I didn't, I haven't really noticed anything really positive, anything really negative. I kind of just feel the same way I did before I started taking gut right. And that is reflected from everyone here at Massive Joe's who has been taking gut right as well. Is we're all, you know, we've all kind of got the same thoughts. We're all kind of like, you know, from when we, before we even started taking gut right, before we started the 10 day challenge, up until now, you know, second, some of us are in our third tub of gut right. We haven't really noticed anything out of the ordinary, in terms of anything really in terms of uh, physical effects psychological effects it's kind of just like we're we're back to to, to where we started uh, before we started taking the gut right now i will real quick i want to disclaim for you guys because myself and, and the rest of the crew here at, at massive joe's who have been taking gut right none of us really have None of us really, first and foremost, none of us really have like chronic gastrointestinal issues. So none of us really have, you know, we, we don't bloat every single day, don't bloat after meals, foods that we know we're intolerant to, we stay away from. All of us eat very wholesome, whole food diets. We're not eating, you know, uh, foods packed with sugar, packed with fat. We're eating very nutrient dense foods. Uh, and you guys know because you see it on, on other videos and blogs and, and contest prep series and whatnot. And that's kind of how we eat year round. So. To be honest, we're probably not the best candidates for a supplement like this to have a huge effect. If you're the sort of person that does have chronic gastrointestinal issues, you do bloat frequently, you do get stomach aches frequently, and there's definitely something going on in your gut that's not normal, that's probably where this supplement is gonna be of, of massive benefit to you and really gonna make a difference. But for those of us like myself and the rest of the guys here, uh, you know, that, that don't have those issues, eat relatively clean diets or, or very clean diets really, uh, you know, really we haven't noticed that big of a difference now, two, three, 
you know, tubs into it, we haven't really noticed that much of a, of a difference, positive or negative, just any difference from before we even started taking the gut right to, to now where we are taking the gut right. And I really think that that's probably the best way that, that, that I can kind of distill the information out for you guys. And I've been getting a lot of questions about it uh, through social media and then, you know, person to person as well. A lot of people ask, you know, how did you go? Uh, you know, how do you feel now? Do you feel more energetic? Uh, do you feel like food's digesting better? Do you feel, you know, what do you feel? And, and really my answer has been, to be honest, I don't really feel that different. You know, I still get the occasional stomach ache, uh, you know, once every couple of weeks. I still get the occasional bloating, uh, you know, once, once a week or once every couple of weeks. It hasn't, like, it hasn't really made a noticeable difference to anything from my uh, personal perspective from before I even started uh, taking this gut, right? And I think really that's kind of where I have to leave it uh, for you guys. Uh, but I will mention that I really think and this is this is kind of the collect, collective uh, opinion of the guys here at Massive Joe's as well. We really think that if you don't have significant gastrointestinal issues, you're probably going to end up doing what we did. You're going to get, you know, the the, the first couple of days of, of, of horror, of terror, uh, and then really not notice much from, from that point moving forwards, uh, you know, and, and really that's kind of what we're getting at. You, you, you know, it's not a, some kind of miracle supplement that if you don't have gastrointestinal issues, you're going to somehow magically, it's going to, you know, increase the digestion and the way your body uses food and you're going to feel you know, a, a million bucks, whatever you're expecting to get from it, we really don't think that's the application of this supplement. We really feel that the application of this gut right is for people that have pre-existing gastrointestinal issues that they just can't fix. No matter, you know, they're trying to alter their diet, they're trying to take out high sugar, high fat, you know, non-nutrient dense foods, and there's just no reprieve, there's just no solution to it. Uh, that's really where we see the application of, of this ATP Science Gut Right, uh, which I think is valuable information for you guys because as I mentioned, it is a very unique supplement. It's very new. We haven't seen anything like it before uh, in, the, in the supplement market at least. Uh, so I think it's important for people to understand that really who it's gonna make the biggest difference to and who it's really uh, targeted at. But guys, that's a wrap for this video on my 10 day ATP Science Gut Right Challenge and then the three or so weeks uh, following the 10 day ATP Science Gut Right Challenge. I hope you guys get a whole bunch of value out of this video. As always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn your post notifications on both on your mobile, your cell phone and your desktop PC so you don't miss a beat when it comes to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. Until next time, I'm coming to you from massivejoes.com.